Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Namaste. Welcome. My name's Keith, and this is your vinyasa practice for the week. That word vinyasa often gets translated as flow. And it's not incorrect completely to say that the way that I offer asana or the way that you might be practicing asana isn't flowing. But the word vinyasa is translated differently. It translates as to place in a special way. And it comes from this concept of moving progressively using your breath through asana in an intelligent way that leads from one point to the next point and allows the body to open up naturally. It's easier to say flow, right? In the Yoga Sutra, in the third book, in the sixth sutra, it says, Tasya Bhumishu Vini Yoga. And Vini Yoga and Vinyasa are similar terms. Vini Yoga means application. So when the sutra says tasya bhumishu viniyoga, it translates to its application happens in stages. So the application happens in stages or happens gradually. But what's the its? It's referring to samyama. Samyama means dharana, dhyana, and samadhi being used all together. Dharana being fixing the mind on one point, Dhyana being completely flowing with uninterrupted focus toward that point, and Samadhi being absolute absorption or complete focus on that idea or that point. And those three together become Samyama. And when they're applied to anything, the unfolding or the uncovering or the illumination of that thing happens gradually. It happens in stages. So there has to be some amount of patience. So when we practice in general toward this overarching goal set up in the beginning of the Yoga Sutras as stilling the mind or removing the vrittis or the disturbances from citta, this flow of the mind toward the soul, we should expect and we should practice in a way that says this will happen in stages. This is progressive and I will be patient. A symbol for this kind of patience in nature is the praying mantis. Often when you see a praying mantis, it seems to be completely still, frozen, maybe not even real. But it's just that it's waiting. It's waiting for the right moment to strike, to meet its goal, to get its prey, to get its food, to feed itself, to sustain its life. So like the praying mantis, we have to be patient with ourselves on this journey of practicing stilling the vrittis, this practice of moving the mind back to its pure consciousness. We have to expect that the application of concentration, meditation, and being completely absorbed and completely focused will take time. We can't flip a switch. Bring your hands together at the center of your heart. And let your breath get deeper.
Start to move on to all fours. Spread out wide across your hands. Point your toes out behind you. And then start to sit back to your heels. Walk your hands back. And then let your dominant hand come up. And hold your palm open, coming into Abhaya Mudra. With the opposite hand, let your fingers curl toward each other, almost like a little pinch, but coming into a lotus bud. And your abaya hand dispels the fear, the fear that might keep you stuck where you are and keep you from moving progressively deeper. And the lotus bud being the symbol of potential consciousness, the lotus flower being the symbol of consciousness itself. And then change that. So your hands change shapes, and as a result, your wrists also change shape. Right? So opening up your opposite palm, finding your lotus bud, and then changing that, and changing it again, waving between these two sides, from abaya to your lotus bud. Noticing the shape of your wrist, and changing. And then change that into a more dramatic wrist movement. So you can stretch your abaya forward. And then as your abaya stretches forward, change your lotus bud to a downward pinch. And then let that happen on each side. Changing into more of a wrist stretch out of the mudra. Waking up the two sides of your arm. Enjoy the downward pinch. So it exposes the base of your hand right at your wrist. 
Same thing with the abaya, the base of your palm at your wrist. Last couple times. Good, and then right where you are, drop your hands. You can widen your knees a little bit. Shift your hands forward, but not all the way into and all fours. So that when you breathe in, you shift some weight forward and you exhale, move your hips back. Inhale, shift forward and exhale, shift back. Forward with the breath in and back with your exhale. So that as you shift forward this time, pick up your left foot, set down your sole, have a seat. Undo that, shift, point, and drop. When you shift, your right foot steps and you sink back. Inhale forward, exhale and sit. Inhale forward, set down your left foot so that when you drag your left wrist down, it's that pinch and the exposed wrist, do the opposite with your upper hand. So stretch open like an abaya. Bring it back in, pray your hands, and then exhale your hands down. Shift, undo, and rock it back. Inhale and shift forward. Step with your right foot and exhale back. So that your right arm goes down and across and your left arm goes up and away, that's your breath in. So that when you exhale, you pull it back in and drop your hands. Shift with the breath in, sink back, add to it. As you breathe in, you shift, step with the exhale. Pull your left arm low, your right arm high, breathe in. So that as you exhale, you can drop your hands and step with your right foot. Your right toes can turn out there as you exhale. Breathe in and shift. Exhale and sit. Pray your hands in. Shift forward as you breathe in and change it back. Have a seat. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale with your right foot, step. Pull down with your right arm, up with your left hand. Open it up. Exhale your hands down as you step with your left foot and fold into yourself. Inhale and shift. Exhale and sit. Pray. Hands forward. Undo. Sink it back. One more time. Shift with your hands getting heavier. Step with your left foot. Left arm low. You can look over by your left hand as your right hand opens and presses. Exhale your hands down and step. Shift the weight into your hands. Bring down your right knee and sit with a prayer. Shift your weight forward, back to both knees and sink. And then one more time, shift into your hands. Step with your right foot, sink it back. Right arm low, you can look to the right, open it up. And drop your hands as you shift and step. Exhale and fold in. More weight to your hands. Step with your left knee coming down. Pray briefly. And then shift. Both knees down. Sink back. Turn that into all fours. And then right from there, downward facing dog. Pedal around some. Move through your spine. Find a moment to be still. And then walk to the front of your mat. Fold into yourself. Ease on up to stand. We'll continue to play with these wrist motions throughout the practice. So in your Surya Namaskar, when you start to use it, turn your right toes out just so you see what it's like. Pull down your right wrist, open up your left arm, and gaze down. And then bring it back. Take that to the other side so your left toes turn out. 
Bend your left knee, pull down your left wrist, open up with your right arm, and press your two arms apart. And then bring that back and in. And let's use that for Surya Namaskar. Inhale your arms up. And then turn out your right toes, bend your right knee, pull down your right wrist, look down toward the right, and press up with your left palm. Bring that back up to center, arms high. And then namaste to release your arms. Try just that much on the other side. Arms up, breathing in. Turn out with your left toes, pull down with your left wrist, press up with your right palm and look down toward your left toes. Bring that back up, breathing in, high prayer. Namaste your hands, release your arms. Arms up, breathing in. Turn your right toes out, pull down your right wrist, grab the beak, press your left hand Abhaya style up. Take that back and do a high lunge as your right toes reach back, arms up, breathing in. Empty your hands to the ground and step back for downward dog. Stretch out long for plank. Hug in your elbows, you can lower all the way or part of the way. Cobra or upward facing. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Move your right foot forward. Exhale your left foot alongside it. Fold over. Stand all the way up with a prayer. And release your arms. Arms up. Breathing in. Ordvahasta. Turn out your left toes, pull down your left wrist, look down in that direction. You're bending your left knee, press up with your right palm. High lunge as your left toes go back, breathe in. Empty your hands down as you step back for down dog. Move out long for plank pose. Hug in your elbows. Flip your toes. Open your heart, and then back you go, downward dog. Step your left foot to the front. Join your feet and fold over. Arms up, Urdhva And release. Again, arms up, breathing in. Turn out your right toes, pull down the bird beak, press up with your left hand, gaze down toward the floor. High lunge, reach it back. Empty your hands down to the ground, but breathe into plank pose. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha. Step your right foot to the front. Bring your left foot alongside it. Fold over. Up you stand. Breathe in. And release your arms. Arms up. Inhaling. Turn out your left toes. Pull down your left wrist. Bend your left knee. Look down, but press your right palm up and away. High lunge. Reach back with your left toes. Empty your hands down. Breathe in for plank. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. And Adho Mukha. Step your left foot forward. Breathe in. Right foot up. Fold over. Stand all the way up. Breathe in. And release. One more time. Arms up. Urdhva Hastasana. Tilt your mantis over to the right. High lunge back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha. Step with your right foot. Step with your left foot. Bend your knees to rise, Utkatasana. 
Release your arms, Tadasana. Arms up, breathing in. Tilting mantas over to the left. High lunge with your breath in. Chaturanga, as you step in lower, keep your gaze going forward. Ride your inhale, upward facing. Downward facing. Inhale your left foot forward, right foot up to the front, fold in. Utkatasana, bend your knees to stand up and release. Start here at the top of your mat and inhale your arms up. Step wide with your left foot, toes out, heels in, press. You can stack your two hands on each other. Lengthen your legs and adjust your two feet. Turn over to the right side, warrior two. Right from there, pinch with your right fingers. Same movement in your wrist, press with your left hand, but soften through both elbows. Tip back for peaceful warrior. Lengthen through your right leg, parallel your two feet, fold. Walk over to your left toes, take a lunge. Step your two feet together and fold into yourself. Stand all the way up and release your arms. Arms up, breathe in. Step with your right foot wide, heels in, toes out, palm. Adjust and turn left, warrior two. Pinch with your left fingers, press with your right palm, and soften and sink. Tip back for peaceful warrior. Stretch out, parallel, fold. Walk over to your right toes. Step your feet together, fold over. Arms up and release. Arms up to the sky, breathing in. Step with your left foot wide, heels in, toes out. Stack your two palms. Warrior two to the right as you open up. Pinch with your right fingers, press with your left palm. And then as you sink, bend backward into your left knee and lengthen out through your right leg. Right from there, peaceful warrior, undo it. Stretch out your right leg, but stay here for triangle pose. Opening up. Pivot on your right heel, fall to the middle. Walk left, turn it into a lunge. Feet together, fold over. Up to stand, a high prayer, and release. Arms up, breathing in. Step wide with your right foot, heels in, toes out. Stack your palms. Turn to your left, warrior two. Pinch with your left fingers, press with your right palm. Bend your right knee and sink. Right from there, peaceful warrior, open it up. Triangle as you lengthen your leg, pull in with your hip, drop your fingers. Opening high. Broaden across your chest. And then fall into the middle, prasarita. Walk over to the right. Turn it into a lunge. Feet together. Fold in. Up you go, Urdhva Hasta. Namaste, Tadasana. One more time, arms up, breathing in. Step with your left foot, heels in, toes out. Stack your two hands. Warrior two over to the right side. Pinch, press, move. Right from there, peaceful warrior. 
Keep the bend in your right leg, side angle. Breathing through your left waist. And then sweep your arm down, parallel your feet, fold over. Walk to your left, turn it into a lunge. Step your feet together, fold over. Stand yourself up and release. Arms up, inhaling. Step wide with your right foot, heels in, toes out. Stack your hands. Turn to your left, warrior two. Pinch, press, sink back. Peaceful warrior as you tip. Keep the bend, drop your left fingers. Reach out long with your right arm. Repeat the Parjva Konasana. Sweep, lengthen, and parallel to fold. Prasarita. And then stay low, walk over to your right toes. Lunge, step your feet together. Up to stand. And release. Arms up alongside your head. Turn out your left toes, pull down your left wrist, press up your right palm and you can gaze down so that right out of it, drop your right fingers to the front of your mat, lift up through your left leg, lift your left arm, turn it into Ardha Chandrasana. Breathing all the way in and out. Gaze down, soften, step everything together and fold. Arms up, Urdhva Hasta. Bring your hands down and release. To the other side, arms up, breathing in. Turn out with your right toes, pull down with your right wrist. Really lead with the back of your hand, press up with your left palm. Shift through the middle, drop your left fingers, lift your right leg, open up your right arm. Ardha Chandra. Breathing wide. And then right from there as you gaze down, soften, step everything in and fold. Stand all the way up, breathe in, and release. Arms up, inhaling. Your left toes go left, bend your left knee, shift and press. And then while you're down there, grab your left ankle and come on up into tree pose. Start with a prayer at your heart. Extend your arms up here. Press through your entire standing foot without locking your knee. Pull down your hands, center out your left leg, and release. Arms up, inhaling. Turn your right toes, bend your right knee, tilt your mantis, gaze down. Grab hold of your right wrist or your right ankle rather, come on up, tree pose, reach up, uplifting, and pull it all down, and land in Tadasana, arms up, breathing in, Turn your left toes the same way, but as you're pulling down, draw your left knee up so you don't tilt over quite as much. Press. Take hold of your left big toe and extend your left leg out to the left side. Move your right hand onto your right hip. Breathing in. Gaze over the right side.
Soften as you come back to center. And release. Arms up, breathing in. When you go over to the right, bring your right knee up to you. Gaze in that direction. Take hold of your big toe and extend right with your right leg. Left hand to your hip. And then you can gaze over the left. Open up from the ground. And then soften into the center and release. Arms up, inhaling one more time. So barely any tilt, bring your left leg up high, 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 high. Hook inside. See if you can use your left hand to find the underside of your left heel pad so that when your left leg lifts, it doesn't go as wide more forward and more vertical. Breathing in. And soften. Release. Arms up, inhaling. Pull your right knee up, press down with your right wrist, really draw up, 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 up. And then take hold of the underside of your heel pad Extend your leg. You can always soften your standing knee and then grow from underneath. Soften and release. Tadasana. Inhale. And exhaling. Bend your knees for Utkatasana, arms up. Slide your left leg back in space to ground your heel. Arms up for warrior one. Lower your right arm, pivot to the ball mound of your foot so you can press your right palm down. So that as you step in and bring your left leg behind, sink, Press your left palm down, raise your right arm now. Right from there, drop your fingers, step your feet together, and fold. Utkatasana, arms up. Move your arms backward as your right toes go back. Ground your heel, arms up. Drop your left arm. Pivot to the ball of your foot. You can press down with your left hand. Bring your right leg in behind you. Switch your arms so your right arm goes down and your left hand goes up. Release both hands. Step and fold over yourself. Utkatasana, bend your knees. Move your arms back with your left toes stepping. Ground for warrior one. Drop your right hand, pivot, sink. So as you come in behind yourself, take your left arm out to the left, same kind of pull, and your right hand goes in the opposite direction. Right from there, both hands down, but step back with your left foot for a shallow stance. Ground your left heel and twist. Add your right arm into the sky. Pavritta Trikonasana. Roll your belly open. And then release. Both hands up front. Step your feet together and fold. Utkatasana, bend your knees. When you slide your right leg out, step, ground, Virabhadrasana one. Drop your left hand, sink, bring your right leg in behind, stretch out your right arm to the right, hold your left palm up, but gaze over by your right wrist. Drop your hands, short stance back, 
and then take the twist. With your right hand coming close. Open up your left arm and revolve. Keep firming your back foot. And then release your hands. Step together and fold into yourself. Utkatasana, rise up. Move your left leg back on your way into warrior one. Pivot onto your back toes, drop through your right wrist. Step in, change your arm so your left hand pulls out, your right hand presses away. And then right from there, drop your left hand, lift your left leg, open your right arm. Pavritta Arda Chandrasana. And then release your hand, feet together, fold over. Utkatasana, rising up. Move back with your right leg, ground your heel, warrior one. Pivot to your back toes, lower your left hand. Curtsy in, change your arms. Pull with your right wrist, press with your left palm, but gaze to the right. Release your right fingers down and forward. Lift your right leg up and back. Open your left arm and revolve. Press through your right fingers to find the openness across your chest. Drop your hand. Step together. Fold over. Utkatasana. One more time each side. Step your left leg back. Warrior one. Pivot. Drop your right hand. Curtsy in, move your left wrist left, press your right palm right. Briefly drop both hands, keep your feet as is, but lengthen your legs. Take your left arm, hook behind your right leg, so that as you begin to curtsy down, your arm is still there. Pray your two hands together, gaze over to the right side, revolve into it. Right from there, release by lifting your hips, undo your hands, step your feet together, and fold over. Utkatasana. Step one last time with your right leg. Warrior one. Drop your left hand, curtsy in, Move your right wrist right, your left palm left, and then briefly drop your hands, lengthen through your legs, hook your right arm behind your left knee. Bend through both knees as you sink. Pray your hands together. And revolve. Praying mantis seat. And then release, lift, lengthen, fold. Step back for downward dog. And pause here. One last moment. Drop to your knees and sit back on your heels. As you sit here on your heels, take your fingers back in space. Turn your hands so your shoulders roll open. And put more weight into your thumbs, but look at your pelvis. 
and then lift up through your hips for a little baby camel, just to open up the front of your thighs more than to think about back bending. And then lower that and have a seat again. Move more weight forward, just so you drop into the entirety of your leg. And then take your hands back, but this time keep your fingers facing forward and open up and see if you can find some of the space in your shoulders here without doing the big turn of your hands. And then lower that down. And put your weight forward again. So you're sitting right over your heels. Okay, and then right from there, hands on your feet. So you can use your fingertips pointing down into your heels. Look at your pelvis, press down and ripple through, so you come right into camel. And then undo that, and sit yourself back down. Breathe all the way in, and out. And then sneak your hands, so they're right on the top of your Achilles, or right around your heel bone. Same idea, so now as you press down, Look at your pelvis, ripple through, so you pass through this baby camel idea to open up. And then ease back. Keep the connection. And sink. And then you can do any of those again, or take your hands, so they're right across the arch surface, big toe surface, big toe mound surface of your foot. And then before you think about going anywhere, lean some weight back, just like your baby camel. Begin to lift your pelvis and see if your knees can float, so my knees no longer touch the mat. And then as you begin to lift up, keep your gaze going forward, opening, pressing, and floating your camel. and then soften, and release. Come out of it through all fours. Stretch out a leg. Stretch out your other leg. And then come into plank pose. And move your left shin forward for pigeon. Open up through your chest, release through your back leg. Broadening across your shoulders. And then when you come down, come down to your left elbow and your left forearm and move that across your mat. So then you can stay here for sure and put your right hand on your hip or you might bring it a little bit more across the mat so your left elbow and your left shoulder start to drop. You can pray your hands together there and roll open. Careful not to roll back, right? So that you're not putting all the weight over to your left hip. Just breathing in. and out, and then undo it, so that as you lose that twist, you can bring your right leg around, and the sole of your left foot can press against your right leg, and then you revolve again in this direction to the right, over your right leg, Grajanu Shirsasana. Bowing down. On up to sit. Cross your legs. Roll over your knees. Move into plank and then bring your right shin forward for pigeon there. 
Make your back leg longer. Broaden your shoulders. And then you can begin to bring your right elbow and forearm down. You can move your left hand to your hip here. Or you can move your right elbow down to your right shoulder drops. And pray your hands together. And revolve here. Remember not to drop all of your weight over to your right hip. And then undo it. Bring your left leg around. Bring the sole of your right foot to your leg. And then move out over your left leg here. So it still has some rotation to the left. Bowing over your own leg. Avoid rounding into yourself. Come on up. And then right from there, take both legs long and wide. And twist one more time to your right, so you can drop your left elbow and forearm down. And raise your right arm. Come through the middle, change that, drop your right elbow and forearm down, and open up with your left arm. And then undo it, and bow down in between. on up to sit. Narrow your legs. Roll back to your back. Windshield wiper your knees. And then stretch out your legs. Take a moment to rest. Everything sink. Let go of your body. Let go of your breath. See if you can let go of your thinking. You can always stay here and turn off the recording. Or go ahead and bend your knees. And rock yourself up to sit. Cross your legs. Bring your hands together at your heart. 
We are one life, we are one light, and we are one love. It's with gratitude that I bow to the divine in you that is the same divine in me. Peace be with you. If you get value out of videos like these, please consider subscribing. It also really helps if you hit the like button. Both of those things help grow the channel. If you're so inclined and you're able, there's also in the description links to where you can make donations. As yoga studios continue to remain closed, every little bit helps. Thanks for tuning in.